Oh my. <laughs> what happened? I used to be able to do all of these. Oh my god. Hello everyone and welcome back to Birdland. So let's get right into it. July 14th, morning nature area. You're sitting cross-legged in a small clearing. Cassidy, the nature camping instructor, is practically dancing around as she gives out her morning spiel. Oh, I'm so excited! All you little darlings get to go out into the forest and take in the spe spectacular magic of the natural world. You'll see so many trees and rocks and lichens. Oh, you're going to have such a wonderful time. She claps her hands a few times and signals everyone to stand. <laughs> Now, remember, each team has its own set of coordinates, so don't try to cheat off anyone else. She winks. Oh, I'm just kidding, of course. Get out there and have a lovely morning. Small packs of campers start heading off in a bunch of different directions. Okay, stay watchful, everyone, and I'll be in earshot, so do call if you need me. You walk into the woods until Elizabeth Way, a camper from your section, uh, a camper from your section. You're holding a little folded up map, and she's looking down at her compass, swatting branches away from her face. You know what I like best about orienteering? The fresh air, the exercise, the feeling of accomplishment. Nothing. Well, okay. The exercise, the fresh air, the feeling. Yeah, the fresh air. The fresh air? No. All the many practical applications. All the... You look up from the map and see the grumpy expression of her face. Oh. Seriously, why on earth would we ever need to learn how to work a compass? When do you ever have a compass? In orienteering class? Exactly. We're learning how to learn the thing we're learning. What a waste of mental energy. Well, I like the fresh air. Great. Now let's figure out what, where the hell we're going. Use the map and the compass, just use the compass. Dang it, like, I hate this, come on, come on, let me use everything. Yeah, remember. <laughs> That's okay. I guess we've got to use the compass? Right, so how do we do that? Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> see if, see if this was like, oh, okay, see if this was like a video game, this would be easy. Because you turn, she turns. And the little end thing would turn with you, but this is like the opposite. I have no clear clue how to read this thing. So do we do do just do everything opposite, or I think we're lost. Wait, what? <laughs> what kind of logic is this? I don't know how campuses work either. Exactly. Um. Yeah, girl guides does not help, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's. Just, yeah. <laughs> so does that mean we just have to do everything backwards? Liz looks down at the compass. She slowly rotates it 180 degrees. Okay. Okay, so now the end is pointing that way. Right? So, you take a step backwards. Wait, we walk backwards too? Maybe? <laughs> you bump into a tree. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, new plan. Let's just walk around in a circle for the rest of the hour and pretend like we know what we're doing. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Literally, like... <laughs> that did not go well. Oh well. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna love this chapter. I know it, okay? Because <clears throat> it's a ropes course. Yeah. Heather, the ropes and climbing instructor, is patrolling along the side of the course, yelling at campers whenever they break the rules. One at a time, people. One camper per section. That means you, Kevin. Zoe Price, another senior girl, works her way along the tire swing segment. You walk beside her, spotting her from the ground. Just so you know, my arms are super weak, so you should try not to fall. You got it, dude. Oh, and thanks again for giving up your turn. No problem. You needed a spotter. Plus, I wasn't really in the mood to go up today anyway. Oh, what? Why not? It's such a blast. Look! She hops from one swing swinging tire to another. See, I could do this forever. I'm bad with heights. It's just not my thing. 
I don't understand what happened here, hold on. It's like... Uh... You... okay? I don't... I don't get it. The tire swing? I'm not sure. I'm bad with heights. It's just not my thing. I guess it means they're high up in the air and if she lets go, it's kind of bad. Yeah. And, uh... So, I'm bad with heights. I'm just... it's just not my thing. Climbing isn't really my thing. Oh, really? It's fun. You get to swing around, you get to swing around up all high. <coughs> That's, excuse me. That's kind of the problem. Well, I love it. I think I'm going to try and do it for the Summer Camp Olympics. Oh, yeah, that's coming up, huh? Yep, can't wait. What do you think you're going to do? I kind of want to stay out of it. Okay. So, canoeing, swimming, nature stuff, sailing, arts and crafts. Um, I want to do sailing. Wait, I wasn't very good at sailing, lol. <laughs> so, probably not a good idea. Uh, I wasn't good at any of these. <laughs> Just do what I want. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of thinking sailing. For real? Yeah, because... Oh, yeah, sailing because we want to be with Belle. Yeah, let's compete against Belle. Okay. No, is that her name? I forget. Um, The detective girl. I feel like it's Belle. Maybe I think of Detective Belle from the show Elementary. And that's why... I mix it up. It might be a different name. Anyway, I was kind of thinking sailing. Oh, for real? Didn't think you were into that. I'm uh, not really, but um, for some reason, I kind of want to give it a shot. Yeah, I got it right, Kate. Okay, Bell Park. You know Bell Park from my cabin? The sleuth? Sleuth. La. <laughs> She's like scary good at scale sailing. I'm sure she'd give you some pointers if you asked nicely. Yes! Yes, that's what we want, okay. okay. She thinks for a second. If you asked really nicely. Oh, oh, uh, cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, she's getting nervous. Oh, okay. Hey, speaking of sailing, were you there today? I was yesterday. Why? Was Alicia's sail acting different at all? Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember who that is. Different how? Like, talking different, kind of clinical, kind of out of it, asking weird questions. No, just regular old screamy Alicia. Strange. What? I wonder what got into her today. Heather ropes from behind you. Hey, Kevin! Huh? Are you and Zoe the same person? Uh, are you and Zoe the same human being? Not a trick question. No? And is Zoe a person who is not you currently on the section that you're about to start climbing over? Yes. So what does that tell you, Kevin? Is there a particular rule of the ropes course that might be relevant to this situation? Um... <laughs> perhaps a rule about how many campers are allowed on a given section of a course at any one time? Always wear a helmet? I think that's our cue to hustle. Come on. <laughs> Goodbye, ropes course. Ha! He looks like a nerd. Okay. Logan, the arts and crafts instructor, is standing silently at the front of the craft set. All the campers are just sitting at their tables looking bad at, back at him. Smirking. What do you say we loosen things up a little bit, huh? He walks to the back of the room grabs a chair and drags it up to the front. He then spins it around so it's facing from you and sits on it backwards. What is art? Hmm? What is art, really? <laughs> anyway, give that some thought while I go outside on official camp business. Smoking! <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. Okay, paint something, draw something, make something out of plasticine. Mackenzie, um, I don't remember who that is. I think it's the first. Oh yeah, it's your bedmate. Okay. Oh, plasticine is so much fun, guys. But it's so dirty. Paint something, draw something. I kind of want to talk to her though. Yeah, that's what I would have done. We walk over to Mackenzie table, Mackenzie's table, table, and sit down next to her. Hey, Bridget. Not doing any arts and crafts. 
Not really sure what to do. Hmm. Creative freedom can be paralyzing. What should I make? I find that art's a good way to work out stuff that you've been thinking about. What's been on your mind lately? Birds! <laughs> wow. Okay, home, a lot of stuff. Birds! <laughs> Birds the most. What? She's gonna be like, who the fuck? <laughs> like, she's gonna. <laughs> oh, I, I just. I'm, I'm, I love this book, okay? Yeah. Um, Birds mostly. Oh, perfect. That's an easy one to one. Why don't you go paint a picture of a bird or something birdy? Good idea. Thanks, Kenzie. Oh my. <laughs> what happened? I used to be able to do all of these. Oh my god. I am failing this game. <laughs> you go to the supply cabinet and grab some paint supplies. Paint a feather. How boring. Wow. <laughs> Mackenzie walks over and peers over your shoulder. Ooh, ominous. You stare down at the page. Ominous, really? Definitely. Foreboding, at least. Geez, it didn't feel ominous when I was doing it. Mm, tell me something, Bridget. Are you someone who's troubled by dreams? Yes! What the hell, Mackenzie? What do you know about this? Not troubled, now that you mention it. No. Hmm. What if I avoided it? Uh, she would probably know because she's probably like... I bet you this girl kind of is having dreams too, maybe. Well, I don't want to be all melancholy. That's I don't like being that. Because it's sad. It means you're sad. I looked it up, guys. Um, yeah, like, look at these choices. Like, these are life choices that, like, I, I'm just gonna be, like, pondering over it forever. Okay, now that you mention it, no, of course not. What a ridiculous idea. Mm. A little, now that you mention it. I don't even know how to explain it, though. Like, lately in my dreams, it's always, um, there are birds, but there are also people, but they don't talk like birds, or people, and it's in a movie, but I don't know what's in a movie. Also, like, the sky is pink. Just kidding. It's not. Like, it doesn't say that there. It is pink because the background is pink. You sigh. I mean, I know it's not real. It's just in my head, but... In your head is the opposite of real, though. Wait, isn't the opposite of real, though. Yeah, because every everything you imagine is part of reality, but they're not real, technically. You feel? How do you figure? Well, your head is the thing you use to process the real world, right? So obviously every, everything in your head is in your head, whether or not it's real. Deep shit, man. Mackenzie. The new Karl Marx. Just kidding. Yeah, but like my physical, physical body isn't literally doing the things I'm doing in my dreams, is what I'm saying. She shrugs. To sleeping mind, it's all the same. I made an Eiffel Tower out of popsicle sticks. Want to see? Sure. <laughs> yeah. I love those. Um, you get up from your table. Okay, it's flat though, so I don't think it actually counts as a tower until we find something to lean it up against. Right. Now the background's blue. It's complete bedlam. Country music. Oh my god, this is just foreboding as hell. Country music, like I. Oh my god. Unless it's Carrie Underwood, like, mm, bad, bad juju, like, you know what I mean? Okay. Country music blares over the loudspeakers as the girl campers chase the guys all over. People are climbing up trees, ducking in and out of cabins. Wait, I thought this is basketball. <laughs> Why are they doing that? Okay. People are climbing up trees, ducking in and out of cabins, and just generally getting into a frenzy. Captured boys are being dragged over to the main lodge to dance with their captors. Oh, capture the flag or something. The only island of calm in all the chaos is the basketball court, where you and Belle are sitting. A handful of campers from other sections mill around the opposite end. Seriously, who came up with this stupid dance anyway? Someone named Sadie Hawkins? 
Maybe. Or maybe this is all just a colossal diss on someone named Sadie Hawkins. Mmm. Damn, now I'm actually curious. And of course there's no phones or libraries here, so I can't look it up. She leans back. Guess I'll just have to sit around and let this unknowable fact annoy me for the next two and a half weeks. Ask someone else! You, not everything is in books, man. Even, I don't know, who Haiti, Sadie Hawkins is. I don't know. Sounds like it's kind of annoying you already. It's just dumb. It's like it's 2015. Why are we still doing this? It's tradition. It's a camp thing. No clue. I don't even know what they're doing. Like, this isn't even capture the flag, I'm guessing. Because, like, <laughs> I... No clue. <laughs> I don't know. Guess is, this is just what people do. What some people do, anyway. You and I, at least, are smart enough to stay above the fray. Yeah, I was pretty relieved when I heard about the whole safe zone thing. Confined to a basketball court all night. I, so, I suppose it's better than nothing. Some boy p runs past the court, screaming at the top of his lungs. Zoe's right behind him, screaming at the top of her lungs, but in a different way. Get him, Zoe! Wow, Zoe's really into it, huh? Oh, yeah, no. Watch her. She zeroes in on some poor boy and then just sprints him down. This is the fourth one. Fourth one that I've seen, anyway. <laughs> Why? How are they getting away? Oh, well, they're not getting away. Well, yeah. Okay. How do the guys keep getting away? Yeah, they're not. That, that's what I thought. Is they're not getting away. There's always faster than 99% of the people here. She's letting them go. Right at the last second, too. Oh, she's messing with them, man. Hey. Zoe goes back down to a jog and grins as the boy scampers off. She waves at the two of you. You wave back. That's some cat and mouse shit right there. Jeez. Yeah. Do you think this is what they had in mind when they came up with the whole girls chasing boys around camp idea? Doubt it. But if you build a system, people will find a way to game it. Anyway, why aren't you participating in all the fun? I still don't know the game! Is it capture the flag? Like... I don't understand why. I just don't feel like it. I'm nervous. I think it's kind of gross. Why is it gross? It's just tag or something. <laughs> okay, I just don't feel like it. She, in character, this would be the most in character, I think. She seems like an anxious girl. I think it's kind of gross. I'm nervous. I just don't feel like it. I don't know. All this stuff just kind of makes me nervous. Don't talk to boys much, huh? No, it's not that. I mean, yeah, I don't. But it's just the whole big thing, you know? Like, I feel weird around it. <laughs> My cat is meowing. Hmm. What? Nothing interesting answer. Was it? Was it a weird answer? Yeah, I don't, but it's just this whole big thing, you know? Like, I feel weird around it. Okay, you guys should, like, just get together already. Belle and me. A basketball bounces by and rolls to a stop at your feet. You look over to the other side of the court and see Dan waving at you. Dan Canoe. Hey girls, wanna come play some horse? That's the game. Belle picks up the ball and looks at you. Yeah, do it. Just contradict everything you just said. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Belle smiles. The two of you get up and walk over. This is the game where you throw the thing at the thing, right? Mm, maybe you're not ready. He reaches for the ball, but Belle pulls it back. Dude, I was born ready. She chucks the basketball. It sails clear over the net, hits the roof of the rec hall behind the court, and bounces off into the lake. Kobe. <laughs> that was an H, right? What is this game? Like, are they playing 21 or bump or something? Oh my god, it just, just chucking the... Hits the roof of the rec hall and... Uh, how strong is Belle? <laughs> I love it.